The following is a production of Learfield Sports. 11 times this season, the Wisconsin Badgers have trailed in the third period and rallied to tie the score. Unfortunately, the results haven't always worked out for Wisconsin, but there is that never say die attitude that Grant Bessie thinks will benefit them down the stretch. You know, I think being resilient, I think that's another thing that this team has, um, you know, I just thought about it, just as we've improved the pie. I mean, we've, you know, been down in games where I don't know how many times we've, we've tied it up, you know, in the waning seconds of the game, but just being resilient and, you know, looking at the positives and moving forward every day, I think uh, we'll be in a good spot in the long run. I'm Brian Posick, the radio voice of the Wisconsin Badgers. Head coach Mike Eves joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. The Badger Hockey Digest is brought to you by Charter Communications. Well, Mike, uh, you outshot Michigan State in the two-game series 64-43, to and unfortunately you don't come away with a victory, but, boy, you deserve better, didn't you? Well, we felt we did, and uh, that's sometimes a cruel part of, uh, of athletics and sometimes in life. You know, you think you're doing a good job and things don't go work out. Um, but I think it, it's a lesson of life that our, our kids can put in their back pocket and and that's just to just keep forging ahead. You mm -hmm. control the things you can control. Um, I, I mean, you take a look at the video. We did so many good things. And talking to a lot of people over the on Sunday, especially Sunday, Monday, people that are on the outside looking in and, and saying just what you said, we deserve better fate, but your team is doing good things. And we continue to go do those good things that uh, we'll, we'll get the victories. They will come. Yeah, it's weird how hockey works too. You know, a big save or a bounce might determine a game. And so is, you know, getting that goal when you need it, that timely goal. It just hasn't come as often as you'd like. No, not as often as you'd like. We've talked about that several times, mm -hmm. that timely goal, that timely save. And um and again, I think it's just a challenge to our guys to see what kind of resolve. You used that word yesterday mm -hmm. in, in the press conference, what kind of resolve. And I think it, it makes you have a deeper resolve once you work through these things. Uh, Robert Frost has a quote that we use this week, the best way out is right through it. And I sure. think that's what we have to do. And so we, uh, we had a good day yesterday, uh, a little bit of a lighter day, but we accomplished some things on the ice. And we have specific things that we're going to work on today and this week as we get ready for Ohio State. But, uh, you know, you, you were here, Brian, yesterday a little bit, and, and uh, you're around our guys. There's good energy. I think they sense that they're close to something, mm -hmm. and that's a good feeling for us to have right now. Yeah, and you know what? You actually have scored big goals on a number of occasions yeah. this year in the third period to yeah. pull even. You did it on Friday night yeah. when Cameron Hughes scores the game-tying goal. You did it on Saturday when Seamus Malone scores the game-tying goal in the third period. It's happened numerous times. I, I, uh, this is a funny thing to say, but I'd like to get away from those game-tying goals that have those be game-winning <laughs> sure, goals because sure. we've, we've come back at least a half a dozen times this year uh, and pulled our goalie to score in the last parts of games. And we'd like those to be game-winning goals. That would do a lot for our, just give us a lot more energy. Yeah, we're seeing growth in a number of players this season, one of which is Will Johnson. He's a Santa Barbara, California young man, played for the Madison Capitals. Actually, last year, his head coach was Luke Strand, who is now Mike Eves' associate head coach. And I asked Will Johnson to describe Luke Strand as a coach and a person. He's intense. He's a very intense coach. You know, he demands perfection, and he won't take anything but that. And he's, you know, he's great. He's really good with the guys. He understands how to communicate effectively with the guys, and you know, he just, he just knows what he's talking about, and he knows what he wants, and you know, it's, it's perfection. And you know, we got to try and give it to him. So Will says that Luke seeks perfection, and <laughs> it, it's not always perfect. It's never going to be perfect in any sport. Pros all the way down to amateurs. One thing I do like about Will Johnson, we saw it against Michigan State. He's got the ability to skate and make some plays. He's going to be a good one for you. I thought that uh, Saturday night was a breakout night for him. Uh, we have been trying to get him to understand that with his speed, he's not the biggest guy on the team, mm -hmm. but with his speed, he can get inside of people to, get, to win loose puck battles. And Saturday night, especially the third period, uh, actually, we gave him the chair of honor yesterday in our team <laughs> meeting, and we got to watch him up on screen do those kind of things. So I'm hoping that that was, as we said, a, a, a breakthrough game for him, that that will become the type of player he is all the time. The Badgers head to Columbus to take on Ohio State this weekend. We'll have more on that series coming up in just a moment. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered, and you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet, 
So Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together, and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with Spectrum Internet. Where will it take you? This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. They don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital, pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health, remarkable. Before we get to the Buckeyes, I wanted to talk about a couple of other players. Uh, one of them is an upperclassman, Jed Soloway. I thought he played pretty, pretty well this past weekend, and he's been struggling. He knows it. He feels it. He wants to do well for this team. When you work as hard as he worked this past weekend, good things are going to happen. I think so. I mean, Jed has come on the ice early. As a matter of fact, you yeah. see the ice here in Lebon, and uh, it's cut up. I think guys are out here early with Coach Luke today working on things. I know that he's been out there early trying to, trying to – find the touch again and get back on the offensive score sheet. He got an assist on Saturday night on a big goal. And so Jed is is putting in the work. And, uh, you know, when, when you do that, good things are going to happen. For and you. then there's Adam Rockwood, who played quite a bit, too, this past weekend. Drew a couple of penalties on Saturday. He had a point on the weekend, too. When he moves his feet, he can be really, really good. He can. And they, they were probably, on Saturday night, I think, uh, one of the more effective lines uh, mm -hmm. with uh, young Seamus Malone in the mm -hmm. middle. And they, they got the one goal, but they... They were all over the ice and controlling it in the offensive zone and did a lot of it. Should, should have had more goals. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jed and, and Seamus uh, really did a nice job together along with young Adam, and uh, hopefully they can keep that going. Yep. The Badgers take on the Buckeyes, and much like Wisconsin, Ohio State has probably had chances to win many more games than it has so far. Only nine wins, 17 losses, a couple of ties. But they can score cool. in bunches, can't they? Yeah, they. Uh, we saw that last weekend. They they yeah. lost 5-1. It was 5 nothing against Penn State, and then the next night they come back and win 7-4. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they're a very opportunistic team. They have people that can light it up if you give them time and space. And so, I mean, that, that plays into our hands because we want to be that type of team that doesn't give that time and space and takes that away. So a uh, great opportunity for us to, to hone those skills. And uh, they're a good team. I, I, mean, mm -hmm. I mean, you take a look at the Big Ten. I'm going off topic here, but yeah. you take a look uh, from top to bottom and, and, the, and the competitiveness of it on any given night that it's just uh, you have to be able to strap on your helmet, play hard, and play very well, or you're going to find yourself on the short end of the stick. Yeah, we see Minnesota, Michigan, and uh, Penn State, the top three teams. Minnesota and Michigan square off this weekend at Mariucci. That'll be a heck of a yeah. series, and they split in Ann Arbor before. Penn State's always a tough team to play. But, yeah, Ohio State had, had higher hopes, Michigan yeah. State, and, and so did your club too. But we see Michigan State beat Michigan. You almost beat them three times. Yeah. You know, so that's the way this league is going. It really is, and so the, the parity has never been greater. And I, and I think if you talk to any player in any one of those teams they, they they would tell you they feel like we can win mm -hmm. if we do the things that we're capable of and we do them more consistently we can win and that's certainly our battle cry and we still think our best hockey is ahead as we forge forward here and, and look forward to upcoming games all right thanks good luck thanks Brian. All right, that's Badgers coach Mike Eves I'm Brian Posick Wisconsin and Ohio State Friday night the game starts at 5 30 it's on the Big Ten Network Saturday's face off at six both games are live on the radio on the Badger Sports Network. For Mike Eves, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.